Hey guys, it's uh, Andy from Sutton Mass. How are you? Just wanted to make a real quick video here to show you my next step on the railroad is what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to replace, uh, actually finish, my fascia. I haven't done it in this whole corner. I don't know, I guess I just ran out of steam when I got down to this end of the layout and I wanted to complete the other end of the layout. So what you can see is... I came all this way, all the way down with the fascia, and I did some pretty nice work down here, if I don't say so myself, with this curve, which was which was pretty silly I had to do, but long story short, I'm all good down here, I'm all good down here, I'm all good down here, and I carried it on. And then I just never finished the end. So, reason for this video is I just wanted to show you the before, and then I'll shoot another video of the after. It's going to be kind of bitchy. So, I'm going to put a 1x4 on the flat underneath. So, I'll go from here to here to here and run it out. I'm going to do the same underneath those 1x4s on the flat and run it out. This is an Elgard layout by the way. And the reason I need to do the one by four is to match that end. Which what I did, as you can see now, I have the one by four under the L girder and the top. So gives you a little bit more wider of a fascia. Okay so once I get that 1x4 on the flat underneath, I'm going to put a 1x5 upright on the whole face. I'm going to have to drop it down with a quarter inch reveal on the top and the bottom. And then what I'll do is I'll apply my hardboard, hardy board, whatever you guys want to call it. Everybody calls this a different, different thing, but it's some fantastic shit. So I'm going to go there. Then I'm going to go there, then I'll shoot a video, because what I think I'm doing is up under here, I'm going to go from this corner to over there with maybe a two foot wide sheet, and uh, I'll get on the, just so I can have like a little shelf area here for a beverage or choice or whatever, and then that will allow me to run blocks down from here to that sheet. Here, down, here, down, here, down, and then I'll be able to put my backing right on there. So, anyway, stay tuned. Trailer park, not too much going on. I think I'm going to add a little switching tower here, which I just dropped him in, because that's where the two mains meet the yard. I've uh, got a container train parked here right now. And I bought some new cars, as we all have. Uh, we'll go over that some other time. But what I really need to do is get this whole fascia done. And then over here, I'm going to have to pop this out. The digit tracks and the turntable control. And then I, huh, I, I don't know, I, I got to really think about this. On this side, I put foam board. On the face of the one by see that's what I'm talking about one by underneath and you make like a box and that is solid as can be and the reason I did the foam board on this side then I put this on the face is it gave me a little bit more room so I have a lot of a lot of math to do here believe it or not to bring this side over and I'm gonna have to pull those all out and then over here, over there, and over here, and then a curve. So my four years of trade school in Worcester, Mass. are going to come out. And uh, that's my next step of the layout, brothers. And by the way, for you who are wondering, Remy, Remy, hello, Remy. <whistles> Trained assassin right there. That's my baby girl. You're my baby girl. Yeah, you are. Where's your brother? Brother? 
Can you say hi to the train fans? Huh? Train fans? My baby girl? Yeah, let's go find your brother. That's Remy. She's my baby girl. And her younger, bigger brother should be out here somewhere. Dallas! Dallas, say hello. Hello. <whistles> Come on, do the head tail thing. All right, Dallas, Dallas can't be bothered. Okay, guys, that's Remy and Dallas and my plans for the fascia. Next time I do a vid, it'll be hopefully halfway done.